October 27th and 28th, Saturday and Sunday. It's the weekend and the sun is in Scorpio and the moon is in Gemini. It's the funniest combination. Scorpio, don't talk. Use telepathy. Speak without words. Make your mouth and your head be so loud without moving them that everyone knows what you're thinking. People think Scorpios are angry by just sitting still because they're so intense and they don't like to play games. And so they present with this obvious, non-descriptive personality type that is sitting there in control. But the moon's in Gemini going, ha ha, I'm going to call you out. This is a great combination. This person, if a baby were born, this person wants so much to talk about what? About Scorpio topics that are relevant to the unconscious mind and deal with money, sex, and drugs. Favorite topics. But the Gemini talks and the Scorpio says, shh. The cool thing is Mercury and Jupiter are also in Scorpio. There's five planets in water today. Count them. So if a baby were born with this chart, they would be super duper sensitive and they would talk about their feelings. Now, this is called mastery. If only our society knew how to speak to the emotional body without cloaking it in moody, in vulnerable, in secrets, in pretense, in being someone you're not. That's the quality of Scorpio at their worst. They play their cards so close, they don't tell you anything. But now we've got the gift of the gab. That's where I come in. Astrology Answers wanted me to say to you, during this wonderful weekend, this would be a really good time because Mercury and Jupiter are together in Scorpio. Wow, this is very psychic. Seeing dead people, it's part of Scorpio. Feeling people's energy without having to use words. Can tell whether you like someone or not instantly. The Gemini could journal. That would be a great thing to do. Journal your feelings. The first step, if you feel numb and you can't cry and you're emotionally cut off, is to begin by journaling or at least telling somebody that you're interested in these deep topics of spirituality. You wouldn't be watching these videos if you weren't interested. So I'm suggesting to you to take advantage of the moon in Gemini, keep the words going, the Mercury and Jupiter conjunct in Scorpio, intuition's open and then we have this wonderful you probably don't know this but the sun in scorpio is exactly opposite uranus which makes one day a year this happens it happens for about a week and it describes a very unusual personality who can speak to their emotional content that's called enlightenment if our society could simply honor what we felt and were transparent about being scared or sad or excited or in love and didn't hold back Think of how honest and real we'd all be. That's the planet I want to live on. Thanks, Astrology Answers. You got me thinking about where I'm from.